what about using the AI built into Canva to help you create your new item? Let's have a go in today's video. Hi, I'm Michelle, a computer coach here sharing tips and tricks on your everyday software to make life that little bit easier. So my plan today is to have a go and see what happens just at a very high level to create a presentation using the built-in AI with Canva. Uh, first off, a quick disclaimer. This is using my Canva Pro account. This is not supported by anybody else. I'm not being paid for this. This is just my personal opinions. And I, I basically, I've just paid for everything. So let's create a new design. I am going to choose a new presentation and I'm going to keep it really straightforward, really simple and not choose a built in design. Of course, uh, if you've got one set up, which it really wants you to do, then you can use that. But let's click away. And I don't know if you've noticed, but you've got the little stars in the very bottom right hand corner of the screen. Uh, these are your quick actions. And as I click on the little stars, it gives me a search. But one of the recommended ones is Magic Right. That's what we want to try because it's brainstorm with AI suggestions. So you notice it is suggesting it's not doing things for you because AI can't do everything. It can only make suggestions and offer thoughts and ideas based on what you tell it. Fortunately, I've already had a bit of a think. You can see it's asking me to describe uh, what I want in more than five words. So that's a key thing. I can try an example, but I've, I've already written. So I'm just going to paste that in. I want a presentation that I can use on YouTube to share some different tips and tricks about using AI assistance. And I've chosen my favorite one at the moment, which is Claude. Like the rest of my videos, it needs to be easy to understand, actionable, and I want it not to be a long one, five to 10 minutes, so a little bit longer than my regular one. So let's click generate and see what it does. So it's giving me some information. Ah, it's interesting. That's now giving me a bit of a script. I have tried this before. It's not been exactly what I wanted. Um, depending on the results, First thing is you should scroll back up and actually have a read through it, see what it feels like. Does it sound like you? And then depending on what you want to do, you can choose what your next stage is. In the bottom left hand corner of the results, I've got more like this. So if this is too short and I want it to bulk it out, I can say more like this. It'll give me some additional sides and then more text on each slide. If this is close, but hasn't quite got it, then I can say this, but, and I can give it some feedback on how I want to change it. I'm just for speed. I'm just going to let it do what it's done. I can on the bottom right hand corner, I've got the, the two little uh, boxes so I can copy this and I can paste it somewhere else, which could be interesting. Bear with me here. So we've also then got insert. Um, so let's see what insert does. Ah, so insert actually takes the information that they gave me and has literally inserted it into the existing item on screen, i.e. the first slide. So actually, if you want it to help you create the slides, and although it's given me some suggestions and text, it has actually created the, what is it, six, seven, eight, because I've got an opening slide and a closing slide, the conclusion, um, plus six in the middle. So I've got seven, uh, eight slides, sorry. But it hasn't actually created eight slides for me. So this may not be particularly useful if you want to start here. However, I have learnt, I'm going to copy this because there is another tool that it's got that Canva has within the quick actions called bulk create. So if I just start typing in bulk, you can see the create option comes in. Now the catch is I can't actually go from this information straight to the bulk create because it wants me to actually tell it where to put the information. In. So I need to click away from that uh, and actually just close that down. All right, new thing to note. Once you've started it, it's very difficult to get rid of it. Right, let's not get rid of it then. Actually, what I so what I'm going to do is on my slide, I've already copied all the data, so I'm just going to delete that. 
let's just create a quick Google Doc and let's paste it in. There we go. I've done it a couple of times now, apparently. But uh, let's just make sure it's saved somewhere. Now let's go back. And what I want to do is to add in a text box, which is the heading. And that's going to be the heading on my slide. Let's make that say um, size 60. That's big enough. That's fine. Uh, and now I can go back into the bulk create. Now I can upload data, which is basically a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet. So you can create CSVs through a number of different ones. It's a comma separation values. When you do save as in a spreadsheet, you'll see CSV as an option. So just use that. But I'm actually going to try using enter data manually, which creates uh, information. So this is kind of interesting. So I'm actually want to rename that. I don't want to be a name. I want that to be a heading. Um, and I don't want an email. What I want is, let's try subheading. Um, add text. There we go. And let's do body. I used to be able to type. Right, I'm going to try and select this. Let's clear the table because that would make life easier. Oh, okay. It clears it completely. This is good to know. Right, so let's try this again. This is going to be a heading. Add the next bit in. This is going to be a subheading. And add one more, which is body. Right, this is why I pasted it. Let's go and select that. Actually, I don't want. Let's just grab that main text. Okay, let's copy that. Now, I may need to do a number of jiggling around, but let's see what happens when I paste that in. Oh, interesting. So that's actually done it. Um, let's see if I can resize this. No. Okay, so this is all uh, interesting things to know. I should be able to just delete that. Delete the row. Okay. Uh, I don't want that one. Let's delete that. So slide one. Let's, let's just delete the scripts. Those are going to be need to add it in afterwards. Probably what you want to do is have all of this, as I mentioned, paste it somewhere else and then spend some time and just tidy this up. So it's not exactly what I was hoping for, but let's try. So I've done that. That's all done. That's come in. Now you notice it did actually create the data fields that I wanted. So I could do this a bit better, but what I've created and added in content is only on the heading. So what I want to do is the heading field that I created, I want to connect that through to the heading that has been uh, that has been created in the data source. So select the heading, click connect data if you can't see it, because that quite often hovers over us and it's just in the way. You can also, uh, if I show you the other option, select on that on the hover toolbar that you can see, click on more and then connect data is also in here. So whichever one you can see, choose the one that matches. I'm only going to do that one because it's the only one with data and let's continue. Uh, that should be everything that I've already pasted in. So let's generate those eight designs. It's giving me a new tab at the top. So it's actually using the original one a bit like a template and you can see it's put the text in as I work my way through it's actually put all those slides in. What I still need to do is actually put in the main content. So this can be quite useful, but there's a lot of um, setting up and tidying up that you need to do to actually put all the content in that you want. If you've got time to do this, you may find that this is a really useful tool to help you quickly create your slides but remember, it's going to take time to do that. If you found this video in any way helpful or useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified as new actionable computer tips are um, published, then remember to subscribe and click that notification bell.
In the meantime, I will see you next time and happy I bulk creating.